We have a 2009 Nissan Murano here, and when we put the car in reverse and engage the rear view camera, we're just getting a black screen. So we're gonna try and figure out what's causing that today. A common place for wires to get worn or broken or where the, uh, the wires come from the body of the car to the uh, rear hatch door. Uh, there's a little rubber gasket here. So if we just pry that, uh, pry that open or off um, we should be able to get access to the wires and we can check for any breaks or cuts in the wire so we'll uh, look at the, those there's one on this side and one on that side we'll, uh, we'll uh, do an inspection here and make sure there's no broken wires so we didn't notice any uh, broken wires in the harness between the, the rear hatch door and the body so the next thing we're going to do is take the uh, panel off of the uh, rear hatch door here and to do that first thing we need to do is pry these lights off and disconnect them so this one just pries out and then we'll uh, disconnect the uh, cable to the uh, the light in the door here and we'll do the same thing for the other one over here next we're gonna pry off the two uh, hatch handles on uh, either side so there's one here that pop off and the other one over here now there's uh, four little grommets that we uh, need to remove. And to remove those, you just pop the uh, center in and then pull straight out. That removes those guys. So I'll remove those four of those guys. And now we're ready to remove the uh, back panel off from the rear hatch to get access to our uh, our camera wiring. So uh, to do that, we just you know, pry along the edge here and remove this back panel along the way along this line here that we're gonna pop out. Once we have the uh, back panel off we can inspect the uh, wiring for the camera and uh, so far everything looks good so I'm just gonna disconnect the camera itself and then we'll uh, there's two little uh, Phillips screws here we're gonna actually remove those and uh, pull the camera right out and take a look at it. So I strongly s suspect that I have a broken wire or a loose connection somewhere uh, between the camera control unit and maybe the rear view camera. So what I want to do is actually just engage the rear view camera without actually being in reverse so that I can go and uh, play around with the wiring and see if I can get the, uh, the connection to come on. Um, so what I want to do to engage that is to turn the engine to the on position and making sure that your audio system says audio off. So just push the volume button in to turn the audio off. And then while holding the setting key down, you're gonna turn your volume clockwise about four or five times until you get this menu that comes up here, the system diagnostic menu. We wanna scroll down to the uh, confirmation slash adjustment option. And then we're gonna scroll down again to the camera continued option select that and then there's an option to say adjust offset or of your rear view camera we want to select that and uh, the camera actually turned on and I'm actually quite surprised so I must have uh, jiggled something while I was working back there to uh, engage the camera again so uh, now I'm actually going to do the opposite I'm going to actually try and see if I can wiggle the wires around to uh, get the camera to turn off again as you can see, the camera's still working, so I'm going to see if I can play around with the uh, cables here. I'm just going to wiggle the camera cable. Okay, and everything's still working over there. Camera connection, camera connection. All still good. So far, so good. So, looks like all the wires here are probably okay. Um, now I'm going to try just jiggling these around to see if I can get it to f cut out again. So far so good. So it's possible that it might be actually in the camera control unit there. So I'm going to take the side panel off now and uh, play around with the wiring between the camera control unit and the camera. So according to the wiring diagram, I think the uh, camera control unit is somewhere behind this uh, back panel here. So to remove that, we're going to remove this little floor piece here first. And uh, once that's removed, we're going to need to remove these two, uh, there's two bolts here that are holding this in. So the first one, there's just a, a little piece you kind of pop out, put your little screwdriver in there, and then it should pull out. 
Okay, just gonna. Okay, now I'll just grab the little. So it just pops out like that once you've separated it. And the other one, you pull this uh, piece down here, and then pop, pop this little piece up. Just use a screwdriver. There we go. And there's just a little hex bolt there that we'll remove. Next, we're just gonna want to pry this uh, back panel off. So you just want to get underneath here. And there's just little two little rivets that are holding it down, so we're just gonna pull that out. And then... go. This piece popped out. Don't need that. This one here. All right, I should be able to separate that and get into the back there. All right, once our cigarette lighter is disconnected, uh, I think those three screws here uh, connect to the uh, camera control unit at the back here. So I'm just gonna disconnect those three screws and uh, see if we can slide that out and we'll take a look at it. So there's no uh, obvious broken wires there, uh, or at least connections, but I'm just gonna remove the uh, the connection to the control unit and reseat it, see if that helps. So the uh, pins all look good, nice and clean inside the uh, computer control unit. So I'm just gonna open this up quickly and see if there's any notable damage or rust or capacitor leakage or anything like that inside this control unit here. So I opened up the uh, computer control unit and uh, looking at the board there's no obvious signs of any uh, capacitors leaking, electrolyte or any bulging of the capacitor so nothing obvious. Uh, so I'm just going to put this back and uh, put it back into the car. So with no obvious signs of uh, broken lines or twisted wires or broken wires I might just end up replacing this control unit and see if that resolves the problem. Um, so I went to a rec yard and I found another um, camera control unit. So I'm going to try try this one. Paid eighty dollars for it at a rec yard. Just found another Murano and ripped it out myself. All right, we got the new one back in there. So the next thing we want to do is just put the carpet back and just snap those back in. And then we're going to run the, uh, the rubber seal. Make sure you run it back over top of that carpet there. All right, now we just need to uh, pop our grommets back in. And then, last one here is we just replace that guy and then replace the Phillips screw and snap it back in and we should be good to go. All right, we're ready to test the new control unit. We're put it in reverse. So far, so good. But we'll uh, monitor it for a week or two because uh, was kind of flaky sometimes it'd be black and sometimes it would uh, function so we'll kind of keep an eye on it and hopefully that fixes our issue well, we've been running uh, for the last few days with no issues on the backup camera that's uh, definitely longer than we've ever gone before so I think uh, it's safe to call this one a success so um, in this case it was the camera control unit that had to be replaced uh, it's likely a, a bad capacitor or something on the in the board there but uh, uh, I was lucky enough to find an uh, Another one at a scrapyard. So hopefully this video helps somebody uh, fix uh, a similar issue.